Right, so today we're not at the big boat today. We're going to see some other boats, aren't we? Yes. But we are as far away from water as you can possibly be. Yeah, they can't be very big boats then, can they? And we're going to see boats. Yay, that should be fun. So we are at the NEC in Birmingham for mm. the SBS Boat Life Show. Yeah. So do you remember this boat? This was the boat that we went on, on the, when we went to the Southampton Boat Show. But it's missing something. No, no, no. I'm gonna do I'm defacing your boat wheel. No, it's fine. You can stick it on there. Of course I, we are. I think it needs a ship half and sticker Absolutely. on your lovely shiny boat. Avid supporters, so you know that. Yay! Of course you can. Let's put a big one on there. No, I'll tell you what, we stick this one on somewhere. I'll stick, <laughs> I was I'll gonna stick. say I haven't got any bigger ones. No, it's fine, this one'll do. <laughs> so how's the show going? Good, really good. It's been so busy and obviously the boat life show is this is the first year we've had the angling zone, so it's been amazing. Cool. And I, I've noticed you've got a really, really gorgeous neighbour. There's our little boat! <laughs> no, it's cool. I can't wait to have a go on it on the pool. I've got your tenner. Have you? Good. Yes. I've done half of the stand so far, so I've got two days to finish it off. Right. We were on Instagram Live. Well, I wasn't, but Will was uh, the other week. And I said to Will, if he gets in our boat on the pool, I will give him a tenner for his charity, which is? The Firefighters Charity. Um, I've been a firefighter 20 years, so avid supporters of those, so yeah, thank you. So Will is gonna brave it and let Simon control him round the pool later on. And if I can throw him off the boat, I'll give him 100 quid. <laughs> Wait, Go away. <laughs> where are you getting 100 quid from? <laughs> right, right, let's stick this sticker on. Stick your boat up. Let's put it out here with all my other ones. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Cool. I don't know how the boat ended up in the fishing area because it's the least fishing boat you will ever see in your life. <laughs> Tricks the sign. This would make a really good rubbish boat, wouldn't it? No, I mean, I don't mean a rubbish boat. <laughs> I mean, it'd make a good boat for removing the rubbish off the rim deck because it's like solid and you wouldn't pop it and... Apparently they're that strong, you could probably like, you could probably drop it off the roof of surrender. But it'll still survive. That's the sort of boat we need, isn't it? And you'd get your AP4 sheets in here probably, wouldn't you? You'd get everything in there. Yeah. And it takes my weight. <laughs> and as well, when it's actually stuck on the mud, we can actually like lift it and drag it rather than our old sailboat. Yeah. Right. Just, didn't, just not sure about the colour. Do they do one in mud brown? Yeah. <laughs> These are really cool. I, I'd love to be able to have one of these on Surinda. So you can actually control everything just from one screen, all your lights, all your bilge pumps, all your power, you know, you can sort of turn on our bilge pumps and you can put them on. Don't you think we really need this system on Surinda? What does it do? Everything. It's like the whole like brains of the boat. Gemma always has these fantastic ideas, but we need to like implicate this, don't we? So imagine all the different, all the wiring changes we'd need to do. I think I'd have to go in pretty early on, to be honest with you. I just love it that you can go and go, you go, put your bilge pumps on or off. You can even do climate control. But, hold on a minute, the question is, can you put your picture of your own boat on the screen? Knowing Raymarine, you can do anything. You can adjust it, you can tweak it to your, to your own needs, because it is that good. I shall ask them then. So I've just spoke to Richard from Raymarine, and you 
can fully customise this to have the picture of your own boat. And apparently uh, they've just done this for Harry Dwyer for his little boat Goodwin. So I'm going to keep an eye out to watch that video because that's going to be really, really interesting. They also do boat hooks, which I don't actually know how to do it. They roll up. Oh God, oh no. <laughs> it was good show us how it rolls up. So here it is in a rolled in a rolled format. And then effectively mind yourself. Yes! Out it comes. And it turns into a boat hook. Darth Vader would be And it's first. still strong enough to hit people with as you've just tested. <laughs> or it can turn into a brush. No, I don't want that. Oh no, that's cool. No, that is cool. Next you're gonna you say can, you can hoover with it next. You can clean your boat. Or if you're really into Instagram or things like that, you've got a camera uh, attachment for a GoPro, etc. and it can so you can film yourself or somebody else. There you go. So, so, so I've asked Mike a few questions about bilge pumps because obviously our boat never quite dries out because we've got a float switch. So I've just, just asked Mike here about the different styles of bilge pumps. So yeah. So what we're talking about is bilge pump activation. So you get a you get a, a mechanical type switch, which basically is based on this um, buoyancy chamber, which turns the switch on and off. Um, the issues with those is they do wear out over time, yeah. and they you can they can get jammed and stuff. We've had them jam, jammed yeah. in both directions. Yeah, yeah. So you can have yeah. that jammed open uh, on, and the bilge pump can, can, yeah. can um, burn out. You then get what's called a solid state or a field effect sensor, okay. which where there's no moving parts, okay. and it's based on a magnetic field and the water interrupting <laughs> that. That's better than the moving parts, but the downside is you can get contamination on them. Uh, they okay. can get polluted, which means that they give you false readings. Okay. And sometimes, even though the water is there, the oil itself is, is falling into thinking there's and no, and no water. And it affects the yeah, magnetic yeah, yeah. field. Okay. But the, the, the most so can you clean them easy? Or can you? You, you, can, you can clean them, but, but I... I you know, I, I think the better the better route now is what's called a impeller load sensing activation. Uh, okay. So what happens with these is the impeller in here um, will, will momentarily spin every two and a half minutes. Okay. And it senses load. And if it picks up load, it then thinks water. Right. And it will start pumping the water. Okay. Okay. And this cycles every two and a half minutes. It uses very little power or energy yeah. to do that. So can you can you can you hear it hear it do the nope. noise? No, you can't. It just does it silently in the background, and then it will actually spin. Okay. And then when it picks up the load of the water, then it was. Let me see if I can get one of these off here. They're quite tight. But basically, in here you've got the impeller. Um, well, this it, this looks better for us, isn't it? Because our access into the bilge, because because we've got a load of we've got like six inches between the frames. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so to get us into the deepest part of the yeah, hole. Yeah, so yeah. We might be looking for something bigger. To be honest with yes. You. We might yeah. be able to get some yeah. So you've got one like this, and here's the impeller here. Okay. So that will that will momentarily spin, and if it picks up load. It okay. will then think water and keep pumping. So how much load are we talking? Say say like there's a piece of hair stuck here, stuck. Well, will, will it? I don't think you used to have got that issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem I've come across. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I guess you could have that. Problem. I don't, I don't know. Do but you know, but, like, but, but much... I, I think there's no absolutely, you know, 100, percent you know, yeah. fault-free sort of way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. certainly, that's certainly the the, the preferred. Route now. So can you adjust the amount of load or is it a, is it no, a certain amount? It knows it, it knows yeah. how, yes. how how much load it is to put yeah. more to yes. us. It's quite a lot of load, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is to is to make sure you have a or it helps if you have a, a non-return yes. um, valve yeah. in the in, in so either in the port here, the in the hose tail yeah. or within the, the So you've seen people put these non-return valves right up upstream yeah of that would you recommend keeping it as close as you can if you keep it as, I, I you keep it as keep close, it close as you can because obviously what you're doing you're pumping water up the pump the the pump is switching off and then between the pump yeah, and the non turn yeah, that yeah, back down. yeah okay. so it's better if it's in there three two one and the is that literally <laughs> Oh, have a lie down. <laughs> Liam will join you if you want. Come on, are you coming in? <laughs> <laughs> Too good. <laughs> spot. <laughs> Quite nice this one actually. Um. Hi. 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 
Quite cool, actually, isn't it? So we basically walked walk past this boat and I saw a sign saying made in Britain, which I'm a big believer of. It's really, really spacious though, isn't it? <laughs> I can sit there. I can sit there. Where else can you sit? <laughs> and we're going to sit in every seat. There's only, clo there's only closets. It's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Can we sit on the back? Big old motor on it as well. <laughs> yeah, I was I was just um, talking to the guy, and this guy actually laid it up himself. And our very very minimal experience with um, fiberglass in, and Gemma just about to bend me in. Will you stop giving me a complex on me weight? I wasn't giving a complex. You got to film in case she falls off, haven't you? You get two hundred and fifty quid these days for that. Well, good afternoon. And uh, welcome to the salt stage here at Boat Life. Um, you've, you've already uh, given me something to trip up on. Uh, <laughs> ship happens uh, with Simon and Gemma. So you can see, look, you looks like you've got some help there. Some yes, volunteers. we've had, that's been the best part of the project since we started YouTube is the amount of amazing people there are in the world. So let's talk about that volunteer. now. So we've been looking around and you can actually win this boat. And how you win the boat is by catching fish. But we've never caught fish in our life. Never caught fish in our life, but it's kind of inspired us to think, what, we, we could catch fish, we could actually win this competition. <laughs> if you really put your mind to something, you could, you could, well, we could at least give it a good go, couldn't we? Well, there's nothing stopping us apart from, we Not, don't know how to fish. We don't know how to fish. Don't know our cods from our haddock. No, but we know a man who does, Will Parkinson. Ah. He's over there, so I think we should go and have a word with him and see how feasible it is for us to actually enter a competition. You just want a new shiny boat, don't you? I just like to do a competition and not come last. That's quite a possibility then. <laughs> do not I don't I don't think it comes with the man though. Oh quite like the man on the back, gives a bit of character doesn't it? You <laughs> <laughs> could just put a fish rod in his hand. You'd be part of the team. Yeah. What do you reckon? Is it actually a dumb idea or not? It's a cool boat though, isn't it? Do you reckon it's what, 150 grand? 150,000 pounds on the boat. Sweet boat though. Cox hand roll. So he's been giving us some advice on hooks and he says, hey mate, you might, you might sponsor us. Um, so we've, got our, line. we've got our hooks for the competition. Yeah, <laughs> I think, I think we'll, we'll do some testing with everything. So yeah, that'd be cool. What I love about the extreme trailers is they're actually made and manufactured in the UK and they're not imported. So I like that. I like companies that are where stuff is made in the UK. It's such a manufacturing in the UK now is such a dying art, and you know everything's just imported, isn't it, from China and stuff. So. These are really, really awesome trailers. So we are about to do a demonstration on the pool with our boat. Back yourself up. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. If you crash now, Will, it's your responsibility. Oh. Oh. It's really hard with no one in it. Yes. <laughs> I'll stand there. Go on, just go for the time and stop with yeah, you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting brave. It's good. It's good fun. <laughs> I'm a bit scared though, I might crash it, but I haven't yet, so I'm alright. I think we might have to take the remote control off, Will, otherwise you'd be here with it all day. You're having fun, aren't you? Yeah. So, as promised to Will, uh, there's his tenor, yeah, getting in the yeah. boat. Thank you very much. And no, you're awesome. I did well done. You. Can and I that would all go to the Firefighters yeah. Charity, so thank you very much, guys. You're welcome. We had an awesome time at the Boat Life Show. Highly recommend it and can't wait for next year.